welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Well, we're going to take a little bit of break. Uh, we're going to take a break um, from our mini series on VMware Workstation Pro 17.6 in this video. Um, and I've never, ever done um, a video on this, although I have mentioned the vendor's name many a time. And um, I'm not quite sure whether or not that you'll be able to see. You might be able to see that. You might be able to see that before it disappears. Anyway, this is a quick installation guide for a Synology NAS. And um, I thought it was about time we had another one. Um, I'm a great fan of the Synology NAS. Um, I've been using Synology NASes now for over 13 or 14 years. Um, and to be honest, you really, it was a brand that I hadn't really seen 13 or 14 years ago, to be honest, with you, until I um, walked into one of my clients that already had one and they had purchased another one that um, caused them no end of problems. It also caused me no end of problems as well until we actually got to the uh, cause of the issue, which was um, the hard drives that had been shipped with the device. It was a rack mount device. Uh, this was a rack station. I think they used to call them then. Um, the hard drives that had been shipped weren't compatible with um, the Synology NAS. Um, and for the life of me now, I can't remember what the vendor brand was of discs that shipped with it. Um, but the vendor eventually, um, after, as I said, my colleagues had been, um, having major issues with it, uh, before I arrived, um, and almost given up on it really, to be honest with you, uh, until I actually basically started working with it and investigating the issues and, uh, I wouldn't have ever believed that it would have been the firmware on a particular brand of drives that caused um, the hardware issues with it. And they got swapped out. And for the life of me, I can't remember what brand they were, what brand of discs they were. Um, I probably have to go back and have a little look at my emails, to be honest with you, um, to see what it was. But anyway, the vendor was quite kind and swapped all the discs out uh, uh, for a brand of discs that were compatible and the problems went away. Anyway, so a little bit of a story to start with. Um, but anyway, so um, we've got a new one here, brand new in box. Uh, so I thought to myself, well, OK, um, we'll just do a little bit of our Hancock's VMware half hour. Uh, as I've showed you, um, I think I've written articles before, maybe, and I might have done some videos on setting them up uh, for NFS, nice guzzy. Um, but uh, we'll go over those again, because as I said, this is a brand new NAS just out the box. I've just powered it on. It's just gone beep. Um, and a couple of things that we have done in advance, um, the, um, the MAC address of the NAS, um, is on the box, which is a really nice, really nice thing that Synology does. Um, so we can take that MAC address. We can put that into our DHCP server. We can reserve an IP address against it, which I've done. Um, and of course, uh, I'm a great fan of using FQDNs and host names and things, not IP addresses. Um, so I've also basically created that as well. So this is Cyrus NAS 4. Uh, yes, we already have three. Um, and we also basically have a few Mega NASes as well. Uh, I think we have Mega NAS 1 to 4, 6, actually. Um, and we've got a few smaller um, Synology NAS is our um, one to four as well. So just to confirm, it's on. Um, it's a reserved IP address, which is 138.101. And we have a uh, host name, Cyrus NAS 4, already done. So we've already done a little bit of donkey work there. Um, so all there is for me to do um, uh, is use this Synology Web Assistant, Assistant Synology Web Assistant, uh, finds-synology.com. Uh, and hopefully it will pick up our, our Synology NAS. So there it is, Synology NAS 141254138101. There's the MAC address, the OS version, the model name, which is a DS93+. Plus. So this is the 4-bay uh, NAS, but it can be extended. And uh, we might maybe do that in the future. We might basically just buy an expansion um, box and uh, connect that up. 
so I'm going to click connect. Uh, I'm going to uh, quick. I'm going to skip over the uh, the EULA. I'm not seeing anything there about um, uh, not using for mission critical environments, but we're not going to use this for NASA or Medus or anything like that. So I'm going to tick the box that says I have read and agreed. Um, followed by next. Um, so now we're actually basically talking direct to the NAS 141, 245, 138, 101, 500 web underscore index. So I'm now basically just going to connect. I'm going to click device. So he's telling me the server name, uh, serial number, etc. Uh, I'm going to click install. Uh, I'm going to say automatically download the latest version from Sonali website, followed by next. All data will be deleted. All data on drives one, two, three, four will be deleted. I have already installed drives into the, the unit. So I'm going to click connect and we're just going to wait for it to download and install DSM. And hopefully as this is a an official uh, Synology NAS, uh, we're not going to see any error messages whatsoever. Uh, and it's going to download and it's going to install DSM. And DSM is... Um, uh, it's the operating system for the NAS. Uh, so it's installing Disk Station Manager, uh, which is DSM, DSM. It's only going to take a few minutes to complete. Um, so things are getting a little bit tight here. Um, and uh, OK, so it's now saying it's restarting and it'll be ready in approximately 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Um, OK, so what we're going to do, um, I'm just going to bob off. And uh, we'll speed all this up in post um, and uh, and we'll, we'll see what happens. So while that's uh, doing some nice uh, flashy colours and things, uh, I'm going to bob off and I'll be uh, back shortly. And I'll go and grab a, a coffee and a drink, I think. Uh, so I'll be back shortly. And I'm back. OK, so... Welcome to DSM 7.2, next generation data management starts here. So I'm just going to click start. Um, so I'm going to type the device name, which is Cyrus NAS uh, 4. Um, administrator account. Um, set a strong password that we're hard for others to guess. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to call this uh, NAS dash admin and I'm going to basically just edit that and basically call that Cyrus NAS 4 followed by save and that login was saved so now we're going to basically say allow this Synology NAS in the web assistant center we click that yeah I'm happy with that Cyrus NAS 4 NAS admin followed by next I automatically install important DSM of package updates yep I'm going to go next with that um, create the Synology account to receive more benefits uh, I already have a Synology account um, so I can already log in with that, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, it wants to sign in with that. So we'll say continue with that. Hopefully this will just add itself. Access, yeah, so we'll do submit. Uh, ah, quick connect ID. Doesn't seem to like the quick nets free service. Um, I know what, let's just call it Andy at Cyrus. Doesn't like the at. Okay. That'll do. Uh, yep, yeah, quick ID is ready. Uh, submit. Loading. Um, I think this is now actually finished. Um, I say it's been a while. 
since we set one of these up from scratch and uh, these would have been probably DSM 7 and DSM 6 and 6.2 and 5 and, and even earlier um, so uh, loading I think it's probably now finished and uh, it's going to basically just uh, show us the um, the DSM um, Explorer uh, window and finally we get the uh, the sign in that we wanted to so I'm hoping now that um, I just go up to my one password uh, I'm hoping that Cyrus Naz four um, I hope I got the password right um, let's go back to I will use the um, Aristas four copy. Hey, and that's it. Um, we are now finished, so I can start basically setting up the NAS for SIFS, SMB, iSCSI, and NFS. And um, I'll do those in separate videos. Um, so that's it. Um, that's how quickly. Um, we can set up a Synology NAS and that's the same for the entire Synology range so it doesn't matter whether you've got 2 bay, 4 bay, 6 bay, 8 bay, 10 or 12 the procedure is exactly the same so once again thanks for thank you much for watching um, if you've enjoyed this video then thumbs up if you don't like it you don't like it then thumbs down but uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you very much and uh, come back for more uh, Hancock VMware half hours in the future. Good night and goodbye.